Do you own a phone? If so, then it's possible to make over $300 per day with it if you know what to do. And in this video, I'm going to be going over 18 side hustles that you can do from your phone to make money online. And I'm not only going to be sharing these side hustles with you, but I'm also going to be ranking them based off of how passive they are, how easy they are to start, and their earning potential. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. The first side hustle we're going over is running faceless YouTube channels. Now you're probably asking Matt, how in the world do I run a YouTube channel just using my phone? Well, not only is it possible to use only a phone, but you can also do YouTube without ever even showing your face. The way it works is you first of all choose a niche or a category of content. And if you're wondering which niche to choose, feel free to check out my video right here on the 30 best niches to do faceless YouTube channels in right here. And then what you do is you write scripts and you can do this completely within the Google Docs app on your phone. And then you record voiceovers using your phone's built-in voice recorder app. And you can find royalty-free stock footage from all of these websites right here that you can use in your videos. And you can simply go to these websites on your phone's browser and download them onto your phone. And then finally, for editing your video, you can use the PowerDirector mobile app, which is completely free. Now, the way that you actually make money doing this is once you get monetized on YouTube, YouTube will actually place ads on your video and you will get paid for every single view that you get. Now, I personally make over $30,000 per month just from ad revenue between my dozen or so YouTube channels. And if you wanna actually look over my shoulder and see me create a video on my phone from complete scratch, then feel free to check out the video that popped up right here. And I'll also be sure to link that down in the description for you as well. Now let's rank this phone side hustle. For ease of starting, it gets a three out of 10 since some things can be a little bit complicated to set up on your phone, but it's definitely possible and once you get your channel up and rolling, it can get a lot easier. For passiveness, however, this side hustle gets an eight out of 10. And that's due to the fact that once you upload videos to YouTube, they live as long as YouTube is around. So I'm still personally making money from videos that I uploaded back when I was a teenager. And for earning potential, this one gets a 10 out of 10. If you're watching videos like this, you probably know that YouTube channels can make millions upon millions of dollars. I'm not saying you're going to if you start a YouTube channel, but the potential is there. Side hustle number two is FOPE. FOPE is a mobile application where you can make money from taking photos or videos. All you do is upload photos or videos that you take using your phone. And these might even be photos or videos that you already have. And then if a company wants to buy them, you get 50% of the money that they pay. And apparently most photos on FOPE sell for around $10 meaning that you'd get half of that, you'd get $5 per photo sold. And you can also take part in what are called missions on the app. And that's simply where a company gives you a brief that you then follow to take specific photos or videos that they might need. And then these companies can use these images in their marketing materials or anywhere else. And you might even see your photos pop up on marketing campaigns, billboards, magazines, or other stuff. Now, the reason that companies do this is that it's typically cheaper to go through a individual person with generating user-generated content, as opposed to hiring an expensive photographer firm or paying for expensive stock photos. Now let's rank this side hustle. For ease of starting, it gets an eight out of 10. And that's due to the fact that all you have to do is download an app and sign up for an account. But for passiveness, this one only gets a two out of 10. And the reason for that is that you constantly have to be doing more and more jobs in order to keep making money. So it's not like that amazing YouTube side hustle that we went over in number one, where you do the work once and can get paid for it for a long time into the future. And for earnings potential, this one gets a three out of 10. You're probably not going to get super rich doing this. However, it could get you some spare cash on the side. Side hustle number three is Google Opinion Rewards. Now, trust me, I know there's a ton of scammy survey websites out there. And if you've ever looked into making money online, you may have come across a few of them. However, one of the biggest companies in the world, Google, which owns the website that I'm talking to you on right now, YouTube, they actually also have a mobile application called Google Opinion Rewards, where you sign up and you simply answer questions and then Google will pay you a little bit of money for each survey that you do. Now don't expect to make a full-time income with doing these surveys. However, you can just make a little bit of spare cash on the side doing this. So the way that this works is you download the app onto your phone and then Google will send you surveys around once per week, sometimes more, sometimes less, depending on how many surveys that they have. And they'll ask you all kinds of seemingly random questions just to acquire data for their company to then become more profitable. And as an example of a question they might 
ask just to show how random it can be. They might ask which of the following desserts from around the world are you most familiar with? And then the options might be like cookies, brownies, flan, or gelato. And then all you simply have to do is check one of those and then in turn get paid. And Google will pay you up to $1 for each survey that you complete. Now let's rank this side hustle for ease of starting. It gets a 10 out of 10. You can't get much easier than downloading an app and answering questions. For passiveness, obviously it's gonna be really low, only one out of 10. And that's due to the fact that you have to constantly be doing more surveys to keep making money. And for earning potential, it only gets a one out of 10. You're not gonna become super wealthy doing this, but you can make some side cash. Phone side hustle number four is becoming a juicer. Now, have you ever seen those electric scooters that just lay around cities? Well, you can actually take advantage of this new trend of these electric scooters popping up by signing up to become what's called a Lime Juicer. Lime is a company that offers these scooters for rent. And the way that these scooters stay charged is that people have to go in and actually charge them and you can get paid doing so. All you have to do is download the app and sign up to become what is called a juicer if it's available within your city. And they'll actually pay you between 20 and $30 per hour just to charge these scooters. Now, unfortunately, you do have to be an adult in order to do this. Unlike with running YouTube channels, you can be literally any age. I started my YouTube channels when I was just 14 and by the time I was 15, I was making $3,000 per month, but that's a separate story. When it comes to charging these Lime scooters, they're available in a ton of different countries all around the world. But if you can't find one available within your country, just look up electric scooter charging gigs near me and see if there's an equivalent service that you could sign up for if this is something that you're interested in. Now for ranking this side hustle, for the ease of starting, it gets a four out of 10 due to the fact you do have to be an adult, you do have to have a car and actually drive around and do this. For passiveness, it gets a two out of 10 since you have to keep charging scooters to keep making money. And for earning potential, I'm giving it a five out of 10 since 20 to $30 per hour is pretty good. Phone side hustle number five, Five is voiceovers. Did you know that you can actually make money just by talking? Well, it turns out that phone microphones nowadays have gotten really good and you don't even need an expensive microphone to potentially make money doing voiceovers, literally just using your phone's built-in audio recorder app. Now, the way that this works is you advertise your voiceovers on places like Fiverr.com where you can create a gig in order to advertise your voice, record a couple samples of your voice saying just random things. If you need examples, look at the other voiceover gigs on Fiverr. And then when somebody buys your gig, they'll send you a script to record and you literally just read it and then talk into your phone's microphone, send it back to the client and get paid. And many people have made full-time careers out of doing voiceovers. And I personally have paid tens of thousands of dollars to voiceover artists for all of my different YouTube channels over the years. Now let's rank this phone side hustle. For ease of starting, this one gets a nine out of 10. I almost guarantee you, if you have a phone right now, it has an audio recorder built into it. And if not, you can simply download an app that has one. And advertising your voice on places like Fiverr or Upwork.com is very easy. For passiveness, it gets a two out of 10. You do have to continue recording voiceovers in order to keep the money flowing. And for earning potential, I give this one a five out of 10. Phone side hustle number six is Clarity FM. Now this next side hustle is good if you have some type of skill that you can help people with. There's a website called clarity.fm that you can sign up just using your phone and then advertise what you can help people with. For example, this could include business, video games, relationship advice, literally anything you know about that other people are also likely to want to know about. And then this gives people the opportunity to pay per minute to literally just talk on the phone with you and ask you questions, you can answer them and make money just using your phone by talking to people and giving them advice. For ranking this side hustle, for ease of starting, it gets an eight out of 10. And this is assuming that you already have some skill that people are interested in learning about. For passiveness, it's a one out of 10. You are still trading your time for money and you have to talk with people on the phone in order to keep making money. But for earning potential, I give this one a nine out of 10 because I saw a lot of people on clarity.fm charging super high prices. And as you build up your portfolio, you can charge higher and higher prices. Side hustle number Number seven is GigWalk. GigWalk is an app that pays you to complete small local gigs. All you have to do is download the GigWalk app and then you'll get what are called gigs sent to you asking you to complete local tasks. And these can include checking to make sure that the right products are stocked in a certain grocery store near your house or if there's a marketing event nearby to make sure it's being run correctly. Now you're probably not gonna make a ton of money doing this. However, you can make some side income 
Plus, explore your neighborhood and your community a little bit more and learn about new places around you that you may not have known existed. As for how much you will get paid, the payouts can range between $3 and $100 per gig, depending on the complexity. And they can take anywhere from five minutes to a few hours to complete. For ease of starting, I'm gonna give this one a seven out of 10. For passiveness, it gets a one out of 10. And for earning potential, I give this one a three out of 10. Side hustle number eight is restaurant delivery. You can download the DoorDash app onto your phone and sign up to become a delivery driver. You do typically need a car for this, so that is something to take into consideration. And the way it works is that you make a base amount of money per order that you get, but then on top of that, you get to keep 100% of the tips that you get. And if you live in the United States or Canada, you can choose the option to get paid daily. And if you live outside those places, you can check if DoorDash is available in the place that you live. But if not, don't worry at all. There's probably an equivalent delivery service near you that you can still make money with. And if DoorDash isn't available in the place you live, you can also look into places like Uber Eats or Postmates. For ease of starting, I'm giving this one an eight out of 10, assuming you do have a car. For passiveness, it gets a one out of 10. And for earning potential, I'll give it a six out of 10. Side hustle number nine is Instacart. Now, Instacart is just like those other delivery services we mentioned, but instead of delivering food from restaurants, you are delivering groceries. For the rankings, it's basically the same as the restaurant delivery apps. Phone side hustle number 10 is Thumbtack. With the Thumbtack app, you can get paid money to complete local jobs. For example, I've hired people on Thumbtack to take pictures for my personal brand, paint my house, and even to get a haircut. If you have any type of skill that you can help people locally with, you can sign up to the Thumbtack app on your phone and start getting clients for it. Now here's my rankings right here for this side hustle. Side hustle number 11 is Ibotta. Now if you go grocery shopping, you could potentially be missing out on a significant amount of money without even realizing it. You can actually download an app called Ibotta and get paid for buying certain things from grocery stores. Now the way that this works is the next time you're about to do a grocery run, all you have to do is download the app and check if your store is on it most of the top stores are on it, like Target and Walmart, etc. And then simply scroll through the list of products that it gives you to see if these are any things that you are going to buy anyway. And oftentimes when I use this app, I find things that I'm gonna buy anyway, and then simply add those to your account. And they also routinely give bonus items where you get paid for buying any item as well. Then after your grocery trip, make sure to grab a receipt and you simply scan it with the app and get paid money. Now, I personally have been using this app for the past couple years and I've made exactly $436.17 so far. Now this isn't gonna make you a significant amount of wealth, however, it is extra money that you could be missing out on anyways if you don't do this. And if you're spending money anyways, might as well get some back. For ease of starting, this one gets a 10 out of 10. If you're doing grocery shopping anyways, it doesn't add much to your life to just scan a receipt. For passiveness, it only gets a four out of 10. And for earning potential, two out of 10. You might not make a ton of money. However, it can add up over time. Side hustle number 12 is Rakuten. Now the Rakuten app is quite similar to Ibotta, but it differs in that it's for all types of stores and not just grocery stores. For example, you can get money back for shopping at clothing stores, technology stores, and more. And once you download the app, all you have to do is make an account and then you can actually link your credit card to your account so it'll sense if you buy something from one of the stores that they have listed. And then you can check through all the offers they have and they usually have a ton of stores on there and you'll see what percent you'll get paid back. And then Rakuten will send you a physical check in the mail every single quarter if you made over a certain amount that you can then cash into your bank account. Now, I personally have made $651.94 from Rakuten over the past couple years using it. For ease of starting, it gets a nine out of 10. For past four out of 10 and for earning potential three out of 10. Phone side hustle number 13 is Instagram. Now you may already have the Instagram app on your phone just for entertainment purposes but what you may not have known is you can actually make a lot of money from Instagram without ever even being an influencer either. In fact I personally know a ton of people who make a lot of money on Instagram running what are known as faceless Instagram theme pages. Now you might be asking, what in the world is that and how can you do it to make money? Well, these are pages where they post valuable content relating to a single niche. For example, the account Millionaire Mentor has over 10 million followers and it's within the business niche. And they just upload photos that are typically just some text on a picture, which you can easily make with something like Canva or Snappa or even paint.net. And the way you make money doing this is by selling what are known as shout outs. 
This is typically just an advertisement for some company or another account where you shout them out and you link back to their account within your post. And it costs you nothing to do once you've built up an account and you can get paid for every single shout out that you do. Now you might be saying, Matt, that sounds great, but can you actually make significant money doing this? And it turns out you actually can. There's a lot of companies advertising on Instagram and I personally have paid over $200,000 of my own money just buying Instagram shoutouts to promote my own account, which I then sell my course with. And you can sell shoutouts on places like shoutcart.com. And the beauty of running an Instagram page as well is that you can also promote affiliate offers or even your own product to make even more money. Now here's a checklist to grow your Instagram account super fast if you want to do this and that is to post two to three times per day. Make sure to stay within a single niche, post feed posts, reels, stories, and IGTV content. Use good hashtags that relate to the actual content you're posting and comment on other big pages within your niche. And there's nothing stopping you from also running a personal page if you do wanna be an influencer as well. For example, I run the Make Money Matt Instagram page and we also make a lot of money from it, but it's primarily through selling my own product as opposed to shout outs with faceless Instagram niche pages. Now let's rank this phone side hustle for the ease of starting it gets a three out of ten because it can take some time to build up an account to the point you're actually making money from it that being said it can be super worth it for passiveness i give it a seven out of ten you can schedule all of your content into the future for a long time and then take a break so your page is continuing to grow and then sell shout outs to make money and i give the earning potential on this at a nine out of ten because once you do have some big pages you can make a lot of money phone side hustle number 14 is digital products. If you have any sort of skill that other people want to learn about, you can literally record videos just using your phone and then upload them to an app like Udemy, which allows you to sell your videos as a course that then people can buy and then you make money. Now with Udemy, they will promote your course for you so you don't have to go out there and do marketing with YouTube videos and everything else. Now, once you do grow a significant course business, I do recommend investing some money into a laptop so you can then go on that and then make an account with something called Kajabi that you can then sell your course on. Because unfortunately, if you do use Udemy, you do have to split like 50% of everything you make with them. So it's not the best deal, but if you just have a phone right now and that's your only way of making money, then it's certainly a way to start. But eventually I'd love to see you put your course up on something like Kajabi so you can keep most of the money and then use a payment processor like Digistore24, get tons of affiliates to promote your course for you as well. And just to share with you the potential of selling courses, I personally make over $100,000 per month selling my YouTube course, Tube Mastery and Monetization, which simply teaches people what I know, which is how to grow faceless YouTube channels and potentially make money with them. For ease of starting, it gets a three out of 10. It can take some time to actually logically think out how you can structure your course in chronological order so you can teach someone in a way that makes sense. And then also, obviously it takes time to actually script the content and record it. But the beauty is that once you have it done, it's done and it can sell potentially for years into the future. So for passiveness, I'm giving this one a 10 out of 10. And for earning potential, there's people out there just like me, I'm only 22 years old, making more than an average annual salary per month just with selling the course. So I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10 just for earning potential as well. Side hustle number 15 is affiliate marketing. And yes, you can do that simply using your phone. If you go to websites on your phone's browser like digistore24.com or clickbank.com and you go to the marketplace section, you'll see that there's tons of products to promote, whether they be courses, eBooks, et cetera. And for example, my YouTube course is even on Digistore24 and you can potentially sign up to promote that and get paid a 50% commission for every sale that you get. Now you don't just have to promote my course. There's tons of products out there that you can promote if there's something you're more interested in. But just to give you an example, the way it works on Digistore is this. You go to their website and then you go to register for an account. You can also use the Digistore24 app. And then you go to their affiliate marketplace section and find a product that you'd like to promote. And personally, I would recommend promoting products that pay out at least $100 to $500 for each sale that you get. Meaning if you promote a $1,000 course and you get paid 50%, then you get paid $500 hundred dollars that's pretty good and there's typically no fulfillment cost with the course either so that's almost pure profit right there and then you simply click the promote now button and they'll give you a magic link that then you can then copy and paste 
and promote as much as you possibly can to then get sales and make money. And you can also click the link below the affiliate marketplace listing as well because it'll typically include affiliate assets and these might include ads that you can use, webinars and other stuff. And in terms of promoting these links, there's almost infinite options out there. I mean, you have YouTube, which is my personal recommendation and my favorite way of promoting affiliate links just due to the fact that those videos can live forever. I know we touched on that earlier, but also feel free to share affiliate links on Instagram, on TikTok accounts, any other social media you can think of, Facebook, emails, sharing with your friends and family. But I do only recommend promoting products that you truly believe in that you think are good. You don't just wanna make a quick buck, you wanna sell someone something that they're gonna actually use and get value from, because then you can sell them another thing and you can build a real relationship there. Now, I personally believe our YouTube course, Tube Mastery and Monetization, is the absolute best YouTube course on the market with no exceptions. And I do personally answer every single question within the Facebook group of that community. So we go above and beyond to make it an epic product. And the reason I'm saying that is to give you an opportunity. If you did wanna promote it, you can. You don't have to by any means though. But I always do try to make sure that every single person is taken care of. Now what's great about affiliate marketing is that you don't have to take months to create your own product and you can start promoting someone else's product from the beginning. Obviously you do have to split the money with them, but if you don't wanna make your own course, but you still wanna make money doing this, this can be a great option. Now let's rank this side hustle. For ease of starting, I'm gonna give it a five out of 10. For passiveness, I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. That largely depends on your traffic source that you're going to use. If you use something like YouTube, I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10, but really I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10 on average. And for earning potential, sky's the limit. We've had affiliates that have made $50,000 in a month promoting my course, and we've paid out well over a million dollars to all of our affiliates. So I'm gonna give that a 10 out of 10. Side hustle number 16 that you can do from your phone is selling stuff. Now you may have some old stuff laying around, check your closet, find some old clothes there. That could potentially be valuable. And you can potentially make money from those old unused items by just using your phone and creating listings on apps like Facebook Marketplace, Mercari or Craigslist. You just take pictures of the items with your phone, list them on the apps that I mentioned and sell them and make money. And you can also find potential products to sell from places like thrift stores or consignment stores. And while you're at the store, you can also go onto those apps, see if a particular item is valuable that you could sell for more than you buy it for. And this is one of the side hustles that I started when I was a broke teenager made a couple hundred dollars a month with it. I didn't really do much with it. I think there's much more potential here if you really wanted to do this. And you can even find free stuff in your local area under the Craigslist free section. So all that being said, let's get into ranking this side hustle. For ease of starting, gets a seven out of 10, especially if you already have stuff that you can sell. For passiveness, it's not my favorite in that category. It only gets a three out of 10 in my opinion due to the fact that you do have to actually keep listing items and selling them and going through that whole thing. You could potentially outsource this if you wanted to, but that does take some work. And for earning potential, I'm gonna give it a six out of 10. Side hustle 17 to make money using your phone is showing how to use apps. Now, if your phone has a screen recording app and most phones nowadays do, then you can simply record your screen showing how to use different apps, your settings, or just your particular phone. And then you can upload these videos to YouTube and make money via ad revenue from them like we discussed earlier in this video. And for example, this YouTube channel called Saki Tech has gone over a million subscribers and gets 2.4 million views per month. And that could be as much as 10 to $20,000 per month. And all he does is show how to use different apps on Samsung phones. For ease of starting, this one gets a five out of 10. For passiveness, an eight out of 10. And for earning potential, a nine out of 10. Side hustle number 18 that you can do from your phone to make money online is Etsy. And you could potentially use one of the biggest marketplaces out there, which is Etsy, to make money online, also using artificial intelligence. Now, when you think of Etsy, you probably think of creating DIY arts and crafts because that's typically what is sold on Etsy. However, you can also use AI to potentially make money with Etsy. And the way it works is you can download the Etsy sellers app onto your phone, and then you simply make a listing just like this one right here. And as you can see, it says, turn your photo into a painting. They might be asking, Matt, how do I turn people's photos into paintings? And there's actually tons of AI software out there that can do it. For example, Mid Journey is one of them, but you can just look up apps on your app store, AI art generators or painting generators that you can do this with. And if we do the math, just to see the earning potential on this, that Etsy store that I just showed you that turned people's photos into paintings has over 50,000 sales on it. And if they made $10 profit per sale, which I would guess they're making, if not even more, 
That's half a million dollars doing this. For ease of starting, this one gets a four out of 10. For passiveness, it gets a six out of 10. And for earning potential, an eight out of 10. Now here are the rankings from all of the side hustles that we just covered within this video. And as you can see right here, all of these side hustles have their pros and cons. Some are gonna be easier to make money quickly by completing local gigs or doing surveys. And others may take a little bit of time to build up. They might take a couple months to start making some money but they can potentially set you up for life. For example, selling digital products, running YouTube channels and stuff like that, which you can certainly do from your phone. Now you might be asking Matt, if you were to start your own side hustle from your phone, if you're starting over from scratch, what side hustle would you do? Now, personally, I have a few favorite side hustles. I'm gonna share them on the screen right here. These are what I would personally consider doing, especially with an emphasis on YouTube and digital products. Now check out this video right here to see me create a faceless video from scratch, literally just using my phone. You can actually watch over my shoulder as I create a faceless video from scratch. And I know this video is titled like the smartest way to make 10K per month online. And that's because in my opinion, it truly is. Check out this video right here. I share how to do it just using your phone and you can actually see me make a video from scratch. So check it out. Thanks for watching. My name is Matt Parr and I will see you there.